the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Nurmagomedov is 31, Romero is 43. He is two inches taller, he will have a three inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 5 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the challenger, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Abima the Igor Imagomedov. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. Side being fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he comes. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Ooh, big shot, man. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. And that one certainly found the target. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the clinch. Left hand punch with the clinch. Duffs the hip, tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. It's crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Romero. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 90 seconds to go now. Romero's back in half guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Romero. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Ten seconds now in round one. Well, working pretty effectively oh, oh, oh. from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nomago Meadow. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both display great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only not only the strike, there was significant strike. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of time about what to do. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but 52 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. And in terms of the accuracy rate, DC landing at a 59% clip thus far tonight against Khabib Romero. Oh, collar tie. Good stick. Lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. It's over one again. Different attack. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Push him up. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And attack an armbar. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's go. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. Right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen 
in a long time. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar, Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains, the heavyweight champion of the world.